Hi everyone, welcome to the video. So today what we're going to do is we're going to define the formula for atomic packing factor and then we're going to determine a method for calculating this and we're going to look at this in each case so for a simple unit cell, a BCC and an FCC. So just to start with, what do we mean when we say atomic packing factor? So essentially what that means is the percentage of volume in a unit cell that is occupied by constituent particles. So Really what we're saying is if we look at the unit cell, how much, what percentage of that cell is going to be occupied by atoms. And as you can guess, this is going to be different for a simple unit cell, an FCC, and a BCC unit cell. Okay, so the general formula for atomic packing factor is going to be the volume. So we're going to have APF equals the volume of atoms in that cell divided by the overall volume of the cell, the unit cell, that is. Which makes sense. So we're just trying to look at the percentage of the atoms over the percentage of the total thing. So if we break that up into the numerator and denominator, well, the, the bottom is quite easy. The volume of the unit cell, essentially, is just going to equal a cubed because the lattice parameter is a as we've spoken about roughly before so the volume of the whole unit cell is always going to be a cubed and for the numerator all we're going to be looking at is essentially spheres because what is the volume of an atom it's just going to be the volume of many spheres so 